So what does the actual research show about multivitamin and mineral supplements? Well, let's just take a look real quick. What you're looking at is a study that measured uh, compared to food alone, micronutrient intakes. Notice it says the pop percent of the population below the ear, which is once again, lower than the recommended daily value. So it measured against food, which would be zero days a month taking a multivitamin supplement. And those bars you can see have the highest it prevalence or the highest rates of insufficiencies. And then it, can you see the trend? The more frequently they took a multivitamin and mineral supplement, the fewer shortages or insufficiencies that they have. So in this particular study, compared to food alone, taking a multivitamin was associated with a lower prevalence of inadequacies of 15 of the 17 micronutrients examined. And so here's some more data from that same study, looking at more micronutrients, right? This is female, this is males. And you can see that people not taking of just food alone, they have the biggest gaps in their diets. Look at the white clear bars. And then the more frequently you took it, then all those little, you know, asterisks, that means they're significantly different than the previous bar, statistically significant. Okay, so we know that multivitamin minerals make a difference. Now, this was a big report, Neil. I think you, you should cover this one. Yeah, that's good. So go ahead and put it all out there. This is from the 14 top. These are not, these are people that make me look stupid, uh, make all of us that way. These are the top <laughs> nutritional scientists in the world. They finish, they do a Delphi you know, study on um, the use of multivitamin minerals and how they should be recommended and so forth. So here it is. Multivitamin minerals can broadly improve micronutrient intakes when they contain at least those that are consumed insufficiently or have limited bioavailability by a population. So what, I, what that means is this. When you look at studies that say a multivitamin mineral didn't do anything for you, you know what the definition of a multivitamin mineral in that study was? Greater than or equal to three vitamins or minerals. Well, there's 20 that we know there's a good chance you're not getting the maximum amount. So how does that even qualify? So you can't study that. It is a logic disconnect. These are the smartest people in the world right here, okay, when it comes to nutrition. And they're telling you, Yes, you need to supplement if you're not getting it from food. And we know you're not getting it from food, so you need to supplement. It's that simple. I'm not making this up. These, these, are, these are the smartest people. You, so you, you, you have to kind of, logic is this. This isn't a trick equation. Here are the RDAs, which are associated with better health outcomes for vitamins and minerals. No one gets it. No one, and hundreds of studies prove that, okay? And it's not getting better. It's getting worse even with fortified food. Even though fortified food helped it a ton in the beginning, it is now, it doesn't matter because we're avoiding foods completely. We can't bet money that someone's gonna eat that fortified food, okay? So it is now even more important to take a multivitamin mineral if you wanna live a longer, better, I'm not saying longer, but at least better at each decade. I don't know if you're gonna get hit by a car or not. So the point is, is that certainly each <laughs> decade of your life can be better if you have all your vitamin minerals, as you saw from that slide before, all those parts of your metabolism are vitamin mineral dependent, which is why you can't live without them. And they doubt you, and your body down regulates to what you take in. So it functions at a less level. So let's just let's move on to that so I can just show them this. Okay, cool. I just wanted to point out, Neil, that those of you who are concerned about safety, the last data point. Long-term use of multivitamin and minerals right here, not exceeding the upper limit, right? It's right. been determined to be safe. So anyone's worried about that. Now, mega dosing might be different. Right, we don't want to advise you to make a dose. Well, I, right, I always so. say low dose, complete multivitamin mineral is what yeah. you need to complement your foods.